In the summer of 2012, the Mackinac Center for Public Policy published the Michigan Public High School Context and Performance Report Card. It considered not only test scores, but also socioeconomic factors. Cesar Chavez High School, a charter school in Detroit, ranked number two in the state. The Mackinac Center spoke with school officials and teachers about the factors contributing to their success. I tell um, like family and people that I know about this honor and they're kind of like, whoa, like, how did this happen? Like, A, you're in Detroit, B, it's, it's a fairly, it's a small school, you know, 700 kids, not huge. Um, don't most of your kids speak, you know, Spanish? Like, how do they even understand what's going on? I think it's an uh, uh, unwavering belief that we can and will achieve uh, all of our students, all of our staff, there's very, very high expectations and it's non-negotiable. Mr. Martinez has given me a lot of free reign to um, build the program the way I think it needs to be built to be successful. Before my arrival here, we'd seen three consecutive years of declines on ACT and MME performance. Uh, we'd, our uh, proficiency in the, on the MME had declined in mathematics uh, from something like 20, 25% down to 11%. And, um, you know, we've steadily do changed, um, been able to change that, seeing gains over each of the last, um, what, six, seven years that I've been here. You have to believe that this is possible. So we push and I push and push and um, nothing fails like success. And so we reach one plateau and we're going to another one because we're not going to stop pushing in those um, sentiments our sentiments that the teachers here uh, have heard from me uh, over the years and it's what, sort of what I live by. The flexibility that they have, the openness to experiment with this or experiment with that, go out into the parking lot. I did a, a physics uh, um, lab just on our ramp outside. You know, kids brought in skateboards and we did inclined planes. It's that flexibility to, to do what you want within your curriculum because the administration here has a lot of faith in the teaching staff to truly that truly know their curriculum. I want every kid to graduate from this building and that I know and they know and their families know that that kid is ready for the next level in life. So preferably I want them all to go to college and I stress that all the time. So all seniors have to complete three college applications and because we want them to have three choices there. We move without bells here, talking about vision. Why? Because when they get to college, there's not going to be bells. It's a small thing, but the kids won't even tell you. I, I didn't even hear a bell ring. The staff now know when kids move. So if you leave 30 seconds too soon, it's not the end of the world. And if you stay 60 seconds too long, it's okay too. Sometimes you take a step back and say, wow. Okay, that's that's for real. Like people are recognizing what we're doing. It's not just it's not just myself and Mr. Martinez and Mr. Gillen sitting around in the office talking about you know the what ifs and the pie in the sky sort of. That would be great if that happened. Um, so it's not a huge surprise, but it's 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 a tremendous honor to be recognized by by your um, your group as well as other groups that you know have have positive things to say. Mm -hmm.